So with our, the lambs that we produce, uh, we feed them on the marsh as much as we can. Uh, for us to put them through our shop, they have to be above 50% of their life, which they've spent on the marsh. So um, they're born in April, uh, they have two or three weeks then in the, in the field with their mothers, and then the mothers and the lambs will all go down the marsh, depending on the tides, and then they'll graze the marsh then until they're ready to be uh, pr produced. So the lambs are obviously grazed on the salt marsh. Uh, the difference we believe is that um, because of the actual salt in the, in the water, um, traditional grasses just don't grow out there. The only thing that grows is salt tolerant herbs uh, and they're only the natural cycle then that makes them grow. Um, so the sheep just have a, basically a different diet to what conventional lamb has and that's what gives it the, the unique flavour that um, we try and sell. <laughs> When you're on the marsh, the main jobs are involved just gathering them, and then on a gather, it can be it can be a day's work, walking, taking dogs, um, and making sure everything comes in and into the fields. Then, and then we keep them in the low-lying fields until that certain tide has gone out, and then the first opportunity we get, the lambs are back out to graze on the salt marsh. We wanted to get the GI status mainly just to set a standard that um, the producers of salt marsh lamb have to hit or have to get to. Um, we believe our standard is pretty high, um, so it's just to keep the standard there for everyone else to follow and to give it a bit of a reputation then. Uh, we've been, our family have been on the farm since the 1950s. Uh, we've had this company, Galway Salt Marsh Lamb, we set up I think in 2004. And we've gone from strength to strength selling it to, to customers who want to pay a bit more for a top quality product. And in the last few years with online sales, um, we're, we're going very well. It's all about the flavour of the lamb. Uh, because of what grows on the marsh, which you won't find anywhere else, you won't find it in the field, uh, it, won't, it won't be made and you can't feed it to animals, it's only what grows on the marsh. Things like samphire and sorrel and sea lavender, uh, all that grows on the marsh on a tidal area, so the salt water will cover it as well. And all those factors uh, just give this uh, wonderful forage for the lambs and the sheep when they're down there on this wonderful free range terrain. And um, yeah, so uh, absolutely amazing flavour as a result of all that. Lamb in season for us to be sort of February, March and April, and we tend to do that up here on the fields. We will then put them down onto the marsh, uh, so all the flock goes onto the marsh, and from then on they're free to go down there. They can explore wherever they want, walk wherever they want, and eat whatever they want. We will leave them down there until the summer, by which point the lambs will be over about half their life they'll have spent on the marsh. At that point then we'll start selecting them to come and go to the abattoir. Uh, we'll probably go through maybe 30 a week, we'll cut up for individual customers, uh, take them to an abattoir just down the road, bring them back here a few days later to our farm and we hand it all ourselves here then doing all the butchery so it's complete provenance and you know exactly where your meat's come from. So we're very fortunate to use a wonderful local abattoir to help us producing this meat. Uh, Hugh Phillips Abattoir in Clamorice, which is only I think about four miles in a straight line from here to there and it's actually at the end of the marsh so in, in theory we could walk the lambs straight from here along the marsh to the abattoir. Um, a really good uh, abattoir, high quality and because it's a small local abattoir not only are we supporting another industry which is very important uh, but also it really helps us knowing with the integrity of our product we're getting the lambs back that we've put in and it's all part of your provenance and integrity for the customer these days is a very important thing.